Hello everyone. Glad you could join me. I'm going to do another sink strainer pour. This is one we have not used, at least I have not used yet. Um, trying to use up some of the uh, pre-mixed paints that we have here. So, um, got Folk Art Solid Bronze, Deco Art Berry Metallic, a light magenta artist from Artist Lab, Craft Smart Burgundy, Lucas Lavender, Craft Smart Grape Taffy, and Fine Touch Deep Violet, some extra paint from a premix. So we're going to go with a uh, white base. This is on an 11 by 14 canvas. white base has no silicone and I must apologize for not having any videos out for the last week but we've been extremely busy with the Christmas season I'm busy at work. Uh, we've been busy with the auction and uh, the live for Monday night, but no excuses. I just apologize. I'm going to set that in the center of the canvas. And I'm going to start out with the Craftsmart Burgundy. Followed by the Artislav Light Magenta. And the Deco Art Berry Metallic. Folk Art Solid Browns. And I'm going to go with the Fine Touch Deep Violet. Craft Smart Grape Taffy. And then the Lucas Lavender. I'm going to put a little hint of white. There's 
it slowly seeps out and spreads. I'm going to go ahead and put a little black right after the white. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with that same sequence. Smart burgundy almost dumped the uh, permanent violet. And I'm going to try to put a little more paint in a little faster to see if we can get a better flow from the outside of this. Just watching it as it comes out. I want to see a hint of the artist loft and gent in the center, so I'm going to add that one more time. warned about having some potential mud which uh, while it's not creating actual mud uh, differentiation between the colors is uh, not quite what I was expecting but I think that adding the magenta to the center with the black and white is going to create some interesting designs. I'm going to do a little tilt on this. I was a little off center. Um, I did check the canvas before uh, to make sure it was level and it was so chances are I did not have the strainer exactly centered. Just a little. Okay, now I'm going to stretch it corner to corner. some of that mud that I have on the outer edge or out of the rings of the painting. Bring it back to the center. And we'll do the same to the other two corners. One of 
of things that uh, I like to keep when I'm doing these pours and the tilts is I like to keep usually just a hint of the white at the very edge of the painting on the corners. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, it's just something that um, that I like. Look at the cells as they've opened up around that black and magenta center. Give that a torch. Clean up my paws a little. Close up. Let's see what you think. Got some really crazy wide open cells right around the base of where the uh, strainer was. Um, not quite what I was expecting, but I am satisfied with the result. And I'm hoping that you enjoyed that. If you haven't already done this, uh, please hit the subscribe button below. Click like and share. Um, make sure you check out the Amazon shop uh, for supplies. Check out my wife's channel for tutorials and links to, to our shops. Join us every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live paintings, questions and answers. And uh, if you haven't already and you are a, uh, interested in joining, uh, check out the Poraj Posse on Facebook. And I would just again like to say thank you and have a good evening. See you on the next one. Thank you.